Hey, what's up, guys? This is Teacher Ben, uh, Zoe Jean Zemiong. Hey, I'm coming right back at you with yet another uh, Mandarin Chinese lesson specialized for you. In today's short lesson, we will uh, be examining uh, my third installment in the ongoing series of how to talk about life experiences in Mandarin Chinese. Without, all right, without further ado, let's hit it. Okay, so. With this being the third installment, uh, we are going to be talking about uh, Tian. Tian. So, what uh, exactly does this word make you think of? Let's break it down into the prefix and the suffix. Again, think about this literally. Uh, as with a lot of Chinese, we can get very far by thinking about the words literally. Okay, so. What does uh, the prefix T mean in Tian? You got it. All right. So when I think of T, I think of Shen Ti, Shen Ti, like my body. Okay. So Shen Ti. Uh, so uh, that is what I think of when I think of the prefix of Tian. I think of the suffix of the word Shen Ti. Okay. Uh, now, what do we think of? when we think of the suffix of tian. Uh, so, uh, yes, again, we are talking about uh, the word shiryan, which is experiment, and we are using the suffix of shiryan, which is yen. So we are doing a body experience, body experiment, body experiment. So, actually, this could be, you know, staying at a, at a five-star hotel or getting a massage or a you know, playing a virtual reality or, you know, any number of things to give yourself um, a body experiment, you know, uh, maybe going swimming even, even could be that or sunbathing. So this one has a lot of ways to use it. Uh, so here I made a sentence and uh, I am talking about, uh, yeah, so we want, to, we want, uh, Tian uh, to be uh, talking about what we experience physically and emotionally. So if we go to a church service, we are going to get all riled up emotionally and maybe even physically, you know. Uh, so um, so let's read this sentence here. We have Zai Woman Da Jidu Tu Jiao Tong Ni Hoi da dao hen bu cuo da shen jing ti yan okay so what that means is at our church uh you can have a not bad spiritual experience so in chinese instead of saying uh good uh i guess i could have used good there uh hen hao but i actually said bu cuo which is not bad. So when saying something is not bad, it is like saying it's good. So, um, so yeah. So this one again says that at our church you can experience a not bad uh, spiritual ex uh, bodily experience. So you get a spiritual bodily experience. All right. So there you have it. That is my third installment in the ongoing series of how to talk about life experiences in Mandarin Chinese. Stay tuned for more short lessons in the future. Uh, much longer lessons will be coming soon to stay up to date on these and get notified when the longer videos uh, will be posted. Please like and smash that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a nice day. This is Teacher Ben. Bye-bye. Zai Jen.